One of the most poignant artists we have is Kathy. She has the greatest challenges physically of all of them, but she's one of the best photographers. She's a photographer, she's an artist, her love of color. But what's so heartwarming is that she'll take work home and she will do a lot more work at home. And her art is gets her through her problems. How long have you been coming here? I think this year is the fourth year. It's fourth year. So has your art changed over the years? Um, yes, I find it, it has. How has the, it changed? Um, I find with the lessons um, I've been getting better and better at. I've seen I've been putting more colors into it. I'm getting used to doing detail work. For me, I find with my condition, um, it helps me to relax. Um, it makes me happy. So I have dystonia. Dystonia is in the Parkinson group. So dystonia is my muscles. What happens is my muscles um, track. My muscles get tight and go into spasms. I have different things that um, triggers my shaking, um, loud sounds, um, stress, any kind of stress, and maybe overexcited. So, so being relaxed is a really important A big thing, a big issue for me, yes. Yeah. These are astrological signs, zodiac signs. So there's, you can study astrology. And your birthday uh, has a connection to a specific sign. Uh, I am a Sagittarius. Sybil is a Taurus. The thing is, you're going to have to make a drawing of your symbol. So I have to make a bowl. What do you have to make? Uh, an, um, what do you call that? Center. An arrow. An arrow. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Cupid? <laughs> <laughs> Centaur. Mine could be about love. It could be a heart. Yeah. Be there you go. Oh. Oh. Also, ideas include rooster waddles, <laughs> bullhorns. Like footprints of like roosters. The reason I wrote this is because this session is concerned with color. Oh. And for me, color is my passion. Never take color for granted. Allow it to lift up your spirits. Float in it, sing with it, eat it, celebrate. So do you remember we've talked about hot colors and cool colors? What are some warm colors? Mm -hmm. Think of things that are warm. Like um, pink, or, uh, blue. Well, blue might be cool. Think of water. Uh, card stock today, so regular piece of paper, but a little bit heavier than usual. Pencil, Sharpie, and colored pencils. In the three circles, you are going to color with aquarels, uh, heavy, heavy layers of hot colors, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, so, uh, and those of you who are doing the printmaking are gonna print your background, and, and the rest of us are gonna paint with watercolors, and then we're going to discuss it, okay? So your shapes are going to be collaged back into your zodiac. It's going to be very fun, very cool. And you have a special relationship with color. Yes, yes, I do. I like stuff very bright, very bright. And when you're coloring with pencil crayons, what happens? Um, well, I press hard with them and it makes it brighter. I don't know, I just do it. You seem <laughs> just, to have just, with a sharp... Even though I do have problems with my hands, with the dystonia at times, so I like to um, have rest in between and go to my work anytime I want to. Yeah, you tend to start with a very sharp pencil crayon, <laughs> and as soon as it touches the paper, it's, it's dull. You press hard, but I, it doesn't hurt your hand at all, does it? No, well, the, you know, my hand gets tired other than that. I, that's just, I don't know, I guess it's just me. I like bright colors and, I don't know, it brightens up your day, makes me happy sort of thing, so. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like to take my work home where it's quieter, where I can put more detail and spend more time with it. Yeah, because two yeah. hours is... I, I am amazed what we get done in two hours. <laughs> me too, I can't believe it. I uh, do all kinds of other different arts, like I paint rocks. I love uh, drawing on rocks and putting my colors to the rocks. I have sold some rocks. 
Um, I give them as gifts. Um, at home, I like working with oil pastels, working with chalk, uh, making sceneries like uh, rainbows and sunsets. So my photography, I've been doing photography, oh God, maybe six years, I guess. I had a worker that taught me. Um, there were six of us that went on trips, field trips, and um, she was teaching us different lessons about photography. Um, my photography for me is number one. I, before like my dystonia, I used to work, you name the sport, I did it. Um, I didn't even know that I was even had an eye for photography. I get a lot of comments on my, on my photos and things that I take pictures of. And you've sold some of your photos. I've sold, yes, yeah. a fair amount, yeah. So what, what do you love to photograph? Um, mostly like animals, nature, um, sometimes abstract, like if, if there's something different on a building or something. Mm -hmm. or, You've made some friends here, have you? Yes, um, yes, I've met a lot of, well, I kind of know them, but you know, you get really close to them with the art lessons and the time we spend with each other. Yeah. yeah. And do you like sitting around the table and having a cup of tea and when you arrive? Yes. That, yeah. I think that's, I think that's great to start our, our day. It's a way but, of easing. The lesson, yeah, and easing into it. Yeah. Almost like going into another world, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I find Joshua Creek is a very special place. For some, but a lot of people that come here, I find it's a spiritual. It's a time to rejoice with other people and relax. It's just relaxing and stuff, and to be able to um, learn about all these lessons that Sybil thinks of, of every week we come. <laughs> I think you wonder where she comes up with these. Yes, crazy it's ideas. amazing. Yeah. <laughs>